Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Main Assembly. Now, a few weeks ago, they allowed closed beta testing, which means many, many more people got access to the game, and they also opened up the workshop for people to upload their creations to. And very shortly after that happened, we took a look at some of the things people made on the workshop, and they were kind of amazing. But now it's been a few more weeks, and people have had more time to build things, and now it's just getting ridiculous. It's gotten to the point where it's, like, discouraging to look at because it's too good. Anything I've built in this game just gets put to absolute shame when you see some of these creations. Like, let's just start off with the Dodge Sled Cat, which apparently is a real thing that existed. Look at the detail in this. Like, you, know, you know what gets me? You know what really gets me is this right here. The, 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 the wheel well curve is so smooth and perfect. Like, it just, everything about this is just insanity. The level of detail in this. All right, well, uh, let's... It, apparently... <laughs> that's actually awesome. Apparently, it's a method of uh, forward momentum is to be dragged by a bunch of mini cars. All right, does this thing work better on the snow? I don't I don't really know how the snow even works, to be honest. All right, this is... This is kind of hard to... Ow! This is actually kind of hard to control. All right, here we go. There we go. This is better. Now we're doing better, but we're kind of damaged. Just a little bit. And what is he using for the connection? Oh, universal joints. They recently added universal joints into the game. I'm really happy to see that there's a ton of universal joints in succession, and it's not really lagging the game out. It's like an actual rope. Those things work like legitimate rope. That is awesome. Uh oh, what do we do? You've done something bad. I'm gonna have to, I might have to do an episode playing around with giant universal joint ropes. Really put the game to the test. All right, so this is just the first example of like just the amazingness that you guys are coming up with in the workshop. Just the perfection of these curves is so well done. Like, and there's not even really that many points. It's just these panels are so perfectly shaped. How do you do it? How do you do it? Look at this. All right, let's get on to another mind-blowing creation. All right, so this thing apparently is supposed to be a follow bot. Well, what? What are you doing? Where are you go? What is happening? Are you trying to fo Does it follow me? Oh my goodness, it does. This is crazy. All right, well, come on over here. Can you follow me up onto this area? Probably not. I'm just going to respawn it in over here. All right, here it goes. Hear it. Here it go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you okay? What are you doing? You seem a little angry. Here, let's flip you back over. There you go. Okay, yeah, it's definitely, it's trying to follow me. Look at that. This is awesome. It's trying to zero in on my location. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. And then what happens when it gets to me? It just, it kind of freaks out. There's no C in it. It's just completely CPU controlled. So this is one of the first AI things that I've seen so far. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to spawn in another one of the creations on the workshop. And we're going to see if it tries to follow me with that too. Okay, this is called Nenkite and I can see it's by Asvit. All right, let's load this one in. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Is this insanity or what? Look at this. This is too much. There's so many awesome details on this. Uh oh, 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 we're being chased. Uh oh, oh no, we're being chased. What happens when it gets to me? That, that, okay, it just, it just tries to, it just tries to push me around. Why are you being so pushy? Why are you being so pushy? All right, here we go. Oh man. Oh, oh boy. Okay, I'm, I'm trying my best not to crash and I'm doing pretty well if I do say so myself. This is awesome. This is so awesome. All right. And there we go. All right, let's just look and appreciate. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. All right, looks like he has some weight up on the front there. Hey, let's go into build mode. I want to see like the individual panels of this thing. Wait, what? Oh, a locked chassis. Why is it locked? I didn't know that there was a lock option. So apparently the whole chassis is locked as an individual thing, which I'm slightly disappointed with because I like seeing 
the individual panel shapes to see like how you shape certain things with what uh corners and things like that but yeah just like look at like you can see the the pockets inside and everything like oh and look at that up there oh this is just so many little details that are just epic looking yeah, I'm just I'm just not a natural artist when it comes to sculpting or things like that. So it's just sometimes I want to do something and I know how it looks in my head, but I just can't make it a reality. All right, well, let's go ahead and look at some other completely discouraging creations. All right, so this is apparently a phoenix. Holy cow, this thing looks amazing. Look at this. I love the edges, the glowing edges of the feathers and just even the detail of the feathers. That must have taken a lot of time. Do we have a propeller in the back? Is that a propeller blade sticking out? Is that how this thing is gonna fly? All right, well, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> I think I need a little bit of practice with this. Oh, there we go. There we go, now we're in action. Look at this. Oh, let's put our legs back for landing gear. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. I love the way that the wings work, too. Here, let's zoom in. Get a better view here. Alright, so look at the way that the wingtips, when I go to pitch up. I love the way that the wingtips do that. Did I just lose a piece? It's like he's doing the wave. <laughs> Alright, but the true test is going to be, can we land this thing? I'm going to go ahead and start putting my feet down now. Just to prepare myself for landing. I don't want to forget. All right, I'm going to go down to the runway here. And, oh, okay. All right, yeah, we didn't, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah, we didn't do such a great job there. All right, let's get on to another awesome creation. All right, up next, we're going to be looking at Race Supercar. I don't know if this is modeled after a particular car, but here it is. Oh, you can see this. The uh, suspension is sticking up through it. That's one of the difficult things with this game right now is uh, containing these giant drive motors. But look at this thing. Look at like the little downforce like winglets on the side. Oh, those lights look awesome. Those are awesome looking lights. All right, and here we go. Oh no, oh, okay, I don't think that's supposed to. I don't think it's supposed to work that way. Yeah, this is feeling better. This is feeling better. Oh, oh, slow down, slow down. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. This is fine. This is fine. This is good. This controls well. Oh, 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 okay. Oh no. I hit the course. That wasn't good, but we're still we still have control. I don't know what we lost. Eh. <laughs> this thing controls really, really well. Oh, except when I lose control. I mean, makes sense, right? Oh yeah, look at that. That's great. All right, break. Oh, this thing is awesome. Uh, uh. And so, sometimes, like when I press the emergency brake, it wants to slide. Like the back end wants to slide out a little bit, and I want it to do that. But then sometimes when I want it to do that, it doesn't happen. And then I end up like doing a really, really wide turn. Oh, there we go. I just got to put a little bit of reverse. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, excuse me, excuse me. Still really, really, really nice to control. Oh yeah, did you see that? There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of how to control it. Ready? Never, never mind. All right, I'm not in the best spot right now, but uh, let's go ahead and spawn in Big Bob. We're just gonna do Big Bob. Let's see what Big Bob's all about. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. These are must truck wheels are a new addition to this game. And this is Big Bob. Definitely makes use of the monster truck wheels. All right, I guess we're going this way. Not a whole lot of suspension on this guy. Oh. <laughs> not, not a whole lot of suspension on these wheels like I would expect. Oh, it is loud. Oh, oh, what? Uh, that's why we got eight wheels, right? All right, let's do some off-roading over here. We're gonna lose all of our wheels here, aren't we? No, not all of them, just some of them. All right, yeah, it definitely makes use of the thrust. All right, can we get over this? Can we get over this wall? It could use a little bit more torque. There's a little bit more torque on these wheels. Yeah, it's got nothing. All right, well, I got to try to just drive this thing as fast as I can up the mountain just to see what happens. Oh, that front wheel isn't doing too good, is it? I don't know what's happening with the front wheel, but we're just going to roll with it. Literally roll with it. And here we go. Hey, this thing's doing pretty well. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, we lost the front wheel. I didn't even see it go anywhere. It just disappeared. This ain't half bad. All right, we're going to go down the drag strip till we get off this ramp. We're missing two of our left wheels, but I think we're overall we're doing pretty good. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, there goes another wheel. We're still surviving. All right, this thing's impressing me now. This thing's actually kind of impressing me. We're still we're still driving. Three, down to three wheels. How many wheels can this thing lose before we can't drive anymore? Oh boy, here it goes, here it goes. What? This thing's, I think this thing would be almost better with just like the four inner wheels. All right, and we went out of bounds. All right, I was impressed. That was an impressive run. All right, up next, we're gonna be looking at the Sop with Camel. I don't know if that's like a different language or if this is the actual name of what this uh, aircraft is, but this thing looks really, really legit. Look at this. This is beautiful. Eight, oh, there's a lot of controls on this. Control, Shift, T, G, H, F, space bar. All right, let's, let's push those buttons and see what happens. Okay, T, G, F, H is actually just to control ourselves on the ground. It's like a taxi control. All right. Uh, oh, we've got some wing flaps. Oh, that's cool. So pitch and roll are each on their own wing. That's interesting. What is the, does, does the tail do anything then? Oh, here we go. What, the tail is automatically pitching up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's perfect. That's awesome. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh no, no. Okay, well, we can lift, lift up again. There we go. I got this. This is fine. Now, this is really, really easy, con easy to control. I was just uh, experimenting with other buttons because we can, like, dive down, too. We can set the trim on our tail. So if I hold down control, do I turn off the engine? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's what that is. This thing is awesome. All right, I'm gonna try to head back to the airstrip and come in for a nice, solid landing. All right, here we go. Here we go, pull up a little bit. I got this, this is fine, this is fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. And, oh, slow down, slow down. Well, hey, that was a really fast slowdown. It worked. Oh, well, we have a reverse apparently. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, up next, we're gonna be looking at the F-107 Ultra Saber, I'm assuming it says. I don't get to see the full name. All right, whoa, look at this thing. Oh boy, look at that air intake. Is that epic or what? Oh man, this is awesome. All right, let's check out the controls. Oh boy. Okay, W, S, E, Q, A, D, G, T, left shift, Y, space. I'm gonna do my best here. Oh wow. That lifted off really, really nicely. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, there's our landing gear. That's good. Well, oh, we can do a trail. T is to set out a trail, so that's pretty cool. I think that's a new piece in the game as well. Oh, okay, there's my roll. I've been using yaw the whole time. Oh, that's cool. This is really easy to fly. This is really nice. Okay, am I gonna be able to land this thing though? All right, yeah, we have like an accumulating thrust so I can make it more or less powerful, which is excellent. So let's try to go back to the landing strip. Uh, gonna put my landing gear down. Oh, that landing gear is awesome. Man, the yaw and the, the yaw and the roll are reversed from how I normally do it. So I'm having a heck of a time trying to control that. Uh oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm ha I am not doing a good job at landing this. I can't get straight on the runway for some, oh! Oh, I didn't realize I was that close to that. No, this is fine. You don't need two wings. I mean, one of them is just extra for, for, this, for this particular circumstance. Oh no, we're going down, we're going down. All right, I didn't quite land it as well as I hoped to, but I landed it. All right, up next we just have just plain old jet plane. And this is like one of the more typical looking jet plane designs I've seen. And it looks amazing. It looks like a jet plane. Let's see if we can take off in this thing. Oh, wait, what happened to our landing? What happened to our front wheel? Oh, but we don't even have a front wheel? What? All right, wish me luck. Perfect. Oh man, this thing is super controllable. Do I have landing gear to put away? G. Nope, doesn't seem to work. Man, this thing is fast. This thing is fast and agile. Check this out. 
Let's see if we can go underneath the, uh, oh, no, 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 okay, never mind. I was gonna go underneath the ski jump, but we're not doing that anymore. Instead, I'm gonna go underneath this much bigger archway. Oh, boy. All right, well, that's working. Everything seems to be working so far. Let's see if we can land this thing. We only have the two wheels, though, which is really weird to me. All right, here we go. Oh, this is really nice. This is super nice. That was really easy to control going in. Uh oh, one of my wheels is not doing too well. All right, another impressive, easy to fly plane. All right, and I got one more car for us to look at. The Foroda Troyer. I don't know these cars. I'm not like a car fanatic or anything that knows all this fancy sports cars. All right, look at this thing. Another just mind blowing, like the little like gill slat things. Like, so many awesome details in this. Does this one allow me to see the panels? It does. Look at these things. So many good shapes. Shapes! Yes! I love it when things are made of shapes. All right. Oh, very fast. Very fast. Oh! Uh-oh. Oops. My bad. Ah, yeah. This is more like it. I feel more at home now. At home on the course that I'm not the best at driving. Actually, this thing... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No, I meant to go this way. Yep. I just take it a shortcut. There we go. See? Look. Perfect. I just wanted to take a shortcut to park up against this wall upside down. All right, this car handles really well at, like, medium to low speeds, but once we start getting at higher speeds, turning too sharp, you're much more prone to just suddenly tip over. Oh, 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 almost did there. We're fine, though. Just wanted to take the shortcut again. Okay, we're good. No, this is fine. You seem to come in for a quick pit stop. All right, I decided I wanted to do some off-roading for fun. It wasn't because I accidentally went off of the race course. It's because I voluntarily went in this direction and just wanted to test its off-roading skills. And jump up. Oh! Well, oh, there goes some wheels. Well, as you can see, the building ability has already just skyrocketed in this game. And it's uh, definitely putting me to shame. And I don't think I'll ever be able to get to this level with the amount of time I have to put in this game. But if you guys are enjoying the showcase of some of the awesome stuff people are submitting to the workshop in the current closed beta, then definitely hit the like on this video. And uh, if you want to check out some more main assembly videos, then you're going to want to check out this playlist on the end screen right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.